Yes, yes, peeps. What's happening? Hope everyone's well and enjoying a lovely weekend. The sun's out. What more can you ask for? And guess what, guys? It's game day, which means me and Rich have got our jerseys on. Hope everyone's well. So welcome to another episode on the finished article. And today we're back again with all things Sky Blue. And where do we start? Um, let's start off with our boy, Leo Ostergaard, uh, getting the win for us against Rotherham the other day. A huge match. First of all, let me introduce my homeboy, Rich. Rich, how are you doing? Hope you're well. Yeah, very good. It's amazing how one game of football can change people's moods so much. Absolutely, absolutely. I think that's fine. But Rich, guys, before we go on, before we kick off, please leave a like, subscribe and comment below. As you know, myself and Rich are doing all these podcasts. So any thoughts, comments uh, that you leave below uh, would be highly appreciated. And anything you want us to cover in the comments, please do let us know and we'll we'll endeavor to touch upon them. Uh, but let's get straight into it, mate. Um, so um, let's cover the first topic, as you guys can see below. So we're going to have a quick review of the Rotherham game. Um, you know, for me, I, I predicted Cobb would win 2-1. and um, Mate, I don't know where to start. We should have won by three or four nil. Uh, Matthew Gordon uh, put the chance over. O'Hare should have uh, put the ball past their keeper. Their keeper was on form. Um, but you know what? I think I think Leo scored. This is the second time he scored against Rotherham. Um, well, the the goal against them earlier in the season, he did he did have it put ball in net against them earlier in the season, but that's officially been given as an own goal. Okay, okay. Uh, fair if, if you want to, but. No, no, that's fine. I mean, um, I think it was an absolutely fantastic win. I he really, he really scored two against Rotherham. You're right, but officially yeah, yeah. he's only scored one. <laughs> well, you know what? We're, we're gonna we're gonna count it as two goals because you know what? That's how we like to roll on the show. Uh, but you know what? Fantastic win. Uh, we um, have created a six point gap now. Uh, Rotherham are actually playing Birmingham in the midday kickoff uh, in a short while. Uh, Rich, what are your thoughts? I mean, uh, what are your thoughts on that? Are you? Um, are you wanting a Birmingham win or would you, would you not really see that as an issue? Um, really, we've got to think about what we do, but I'm probably thinking a Birmingham win or a draw. Either oh, of them okay. results would do us. No, no. Keep, we, don't forget, we only have to finish above one of them. So, I mean, for me, uh, as you... As already decided about, Wickham and... I think uh, for me, yeah, I, I, was just, I was just about to say, so for me, my perspective is, we discussed this yesterday, Sheffield Wednesday and Wickham for me are down after their uh, defeat yesterday. Um, but before I kick on, I, we've got a comment from one of our uh, guests. Yes, thank you, Mr. McBool, for joining yeah. in. Uh, thank you very much. As always, your support is greatly appreciated. So anyway, moving on. Um, Rich, yeah. what, what are your thoughts on the Rotherham game? Wow, well, I'd, I'd say... if. I'd say our best performance of the season was probably Brentford at home, but yeah. Thursday night was certainly our most heroic uh, performance of the season. I mean, yes. we took the game to them. We were so, there were so fans were so nervous before the game, and understandably so. But we took the game from them from start to finish. We were the better side. We had enough chances. We had the chances to score before we did. Their keeper played an absolute blinder and basically yeah, kept them in the yeah. game. Absolutely. Uh, like dominated from start to finish, but as it turned out, which is sometimes the case in football, we had to be patient. And Ostergaard came good. We were composed at the back for the whole game. We there was Wilson didn't have a lot to do at all. No, that, was, that was a beautiful thing about it. We took the game to them without, and still managed to look com composed at the back. I mean, you know, you know what? Apart from apart from the one shot that they hit hit the bar of a, a miss hit or a cross, whichever way you want to call it. I, I agree with you. I don't think they actually troubled that this that much. I think from my point of view, it was a bit nerve wracking because we, we could have done with the second goal to calm the nerves yeah. down. I mean, what, what were your thoughts on the lineup uh, that Robbins put out? Well, I mean, he was brave putting Wilson in ahead of Morosi. And well, as it happened, Wilson didn't have a lot to do anyway. So it's hard to judge. Well, we won so and kept a clean sheet. So you can say it was a right decision. I mean, Richard, was, I've, got, I've, got, I've got a question I'm going to bring up on the screen so we'll share. So it's again from Shazad. So uh, things are looking good for Coventry. Uh, who do you think will get relegated? Um, go, go, Rich. I'll, I'll let you kick this one off. Well, we said Wickham and, Wickham and Wednesday. I mean, yeah. and they, they could both only manage draws yesterday. So my well, view's not changed there. I'd probably say at this point, after Huddersfield's win yesterday, that's helped them a lot. And probably, well, Derby probably lost probably, a lot will come down to whether Rotherham can win the games in hand, but 
uh, Derby County as well. They lost to Blackburn, and yeah. I think we can say Blackburn are more or less there now because we said they big needed big, one win and big, yeah. big, big, big up to your boys in Blackburn for doing Coventry City a favour, as we suggested on the last podcast. That's how you Mar- 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 Armstrong got an assist. He did in that Ex-Coventry Blackburn versus West. Derby yeah. game. Indeed, 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 and yes. So anyway, carry on, yeah. as you were saying. Everyone, again, for all room, every, everyone to a man was absolutely fantastic. Um, I mean, standout performances, McFadden, Ostergaard, Matty James. Uh, I think Sam McCallum had his best game for a while. What game What game he had. Yeah. Uh, like, very, very good performance. Um, Robbins he made the substitutions at the right time, which... The game, the game proven again. He's, he's a big game manager, big Absolutely. game manager. Absolutely. I mean, I'm I'm just literally looking through the lineup for who we played. So if I if I go through, so we had Wilson in goal. Apologies, mate. Yeah. With Wilson in goal, uh, De Costa, Ostergaard, McFadden came back. Dom Hyam, Sam McCullum, Liam Kelly. By the way, a special mention to Liam Kelly for a strike that almost went in but just hit the post. What an absolute wonder strike that would have been. Uh, I, gotta say, I was thinking about this at work yesterday. I was thinking yeah. Liam Kelly's probably been my player of the season so far. Absolutely not. I, and if I, you I, look at games where he, the difference in games between where he has, our results in games where he has played and where he hasn't played. Yeah, he's, uh, for me, yeah. uh, there's, other, there's others we can mention, but. I was thinking he's well, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll just me. go to the rest of the lineup. So we have Matty James, Callum O'Hare, then Hamer came on 77th minute, Tyler Walker, uh, Matty Godden, and obviously Biamu and uh Gokras made uh, made substitute appearances. Mm-hmm. Uh and you know what? All round fantastic performance, in my opinion. Like I said, I, I would have to agree with you. Liam Kelly for me, absolutely legend, uh putting in a shift in. Uh, I'm actually glad we got Matty James where I could because I think you know what if him and Liam Kelly play together, they're a great combination. Yeah. Wouldn't well, be great if we could sign him in the summer. I mean, we touched upon that the yeah. last week. I believe I believe he's on a free transfer uh, in the summer, uh, and it'll be interesting to see if, if we can get him on a sign. I think this really comes down to how much investment CC want to actually put into the side and whether they actually see um, you know what investment. I think we definitely need a striker. Uh, I like I like uh, Gordon, but I think he's not had the luck with the injuries. Uh, and um, Leo Ostergaard, he's on loan from Brighton, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, uh, I mean, um, by his interview after the game, he sounds like he wants to sign a lot. The decision might not be 100 percent in his hands, but I think well, the fans we, are loving him. I, I think you know, and he highlighted that he said he wanted to play in front of the fans at the in Rico Arena. Fans. Post match interview, so uh, I'm hoping that the guys uh, see you take note of this and can actually start making a things happen. Court hero on social media of the Ostergaard kicking things pictures, absolutely. Yes, mm-hmm. uh, Ostergaard taking taking down man's taking names and taking action. Mm-hmm. Uh, we love to see that on the show. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I think that was a fantastic win, in my opinion. Uh, as I said, a bit nerve wracking. Uh, but we got through it in the end, and uh, we created a bit of breathing room. As guys, as we touched upon, we've got Rotherham, Birmingham. So, uh, from a commentary perspective, we're looking yeah. for Birmingham to do a favour. Twelve kickoff or half twelve kickoff? I believe it. I believe it is um, a twelve o'clock kickoff. Uh, from what I've seen, so it'll be interesting to see how that game pans out. Uh, so, um, wouldn't it be good if Coventry City and Blues can stay up, uh, knowing what uh, Birmingham City have done for Coventry, uh, considering the fact that we had to leave the. Uh, Rico was it two years ago now? Um, yeah. so that would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, but yeah, go for it, Ricky. Any, any other thoughts? Um, well, I'm just loving the positivity since that game, like on social media, but just just go walking around the place as well. Just the amount of Coventry City shirts I've seen out and about since Thursday, absolutely, like, absolutely. lovely to see. No, it is, it is. It's good to get the vibe back in the city. And you know what, Mark Robbins, you you got to take your hat off to him. He's done an absolutely legendary performance. Uh, the fact of the matter is that uh, with a limited budget, uh, similar to what Wickham have had, he he has manned the ship. We had some fantastic performances against Brentford, KPR, uh, Rotherham, uh, 
home and away. We did the double over them. I don't think we've done that before. Uh, and uh, Millwall away, that was another fantastic problem. So, you know what? Coventry City can compete mm -hmm. in this league, but they just need the right investment. So, um, without further ado, Job's guys, I'm yet. gonna now <laughs> go on, Rich. I was just, I was just about to say, job's not done yet. We no, move on to today. Guys, absolutely, we are moving on, and to move on to my second topic, we are now moving on to Coventry City versus Barnsley. So, I've got a stat before I let Rich. Rip. So, but guys, just for those that are tuning in, Rich is the stat master. He knows everything Coventry City. So, I'm gonna let him fill him on that, but. One stat I'm going to bring up for um, Rich and the viewers is uh, in, against Barnsley, we won 29 games, drawn 15 and lost 18. So the omens look good, but I'm going to let Rich take it off and dig further yeah, I mean, into it. And Barnsley haven't won away at Coventry since 1923. So we're talking almost 100 years since, since they've come to Coventry and, well, in, or come to that's that's including Highfield Road, Dorico, Six Fields, and uh, and hopefully St Andrews will be added to the list of grounds that come to play as that and failed to beat us. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you 1923 know, was the last time they beat us 3 2. Absolutely, absolutely. And yeah, do you know what? We played them earlier in the season away, and you know what? I think was it Lee Ostergaard that hit the post again in that game. May correct me if I'm wrong, but we, we had a, a chance in that game and that ended no no. At that point, yeah. Barnes were struggling. Uh, they're on a rich um, vein of form. They're currently sat, I believe, they're sixth in the championship table. Uh, but yeah. you know what? This is a funny yeah. season. Yeah, their fun fans game. will be thinking uh, from the stats I've just thrown at. Yeah, their fans will be thinking beat Coventry, and we're going up. Oh, <laughs> uh, what what it, so what, what are your thoughts on today's game, Rich? I mean, prediction wise or yeah. lineups? What do you reckon? Well, Barnsley, a good football inside, so it will hopefully give us the chance to play football too, and that that will hopefully work in our favour. Absolutely, um, yeah. You know, it's it could go either way. I think I'm a lot more relaxed about it because of how uh, the result went Thursday, and we're looking in a much better position now, but there is still a job to be done, and if things were to go against us in today's game, then we'll be looking over our shoulders again. So hopefully... I I take a point. In you know what? I, I think all things I think all things considered, I think you know any positive result against Barnsley is a bonus. Uh and it'd be interesting. I yes, of course we'd love to see Comedy win. We all, we always do love that. And you know what? After watching some of the interesting results yesterday, I wouldn't I wouldn't bet against Mark Robbins to pull it out. I mean, Rich, what do you reckon he'll do? Do you reckon he'll go two up front or he'll, he'll stick to his tried and tested one? What do you reckon? I've got a feeling he'll stick with one up front today. <laughs> okay, okay. Fair enough, fair I enough. I don't know. Indeed, indeed. Let's have a look. I don't I like, think I like, to see, I like to see him go with two up top. And I, I'd like to see us have a go at him and see what see see if we can pull something off. But No, absolutely. Main thing, no. main thing is we keep it tight and don't well, lose. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think I think we, we should sell. I think we, you know, the away performance against Rotherham for me was our best away performance of the season. Um, and you know what? I want us to take that performance into every other, the remaining five games of the season. We just need to go out, be positive. Let's be honest. Um, if we're going to concede, we're going to concede. But uh, as they say, the, the game isn't won till, till the end. Uh, City should go out and try and get positive result. I think there's definitely goals in the side. Uh, but it just really depends on uh, who's going to get them. I mean, Rich, who do you think our key player is going to be today? Well, McFad McFadden again, Ostergaard, uh, Ke Kelly, and James. They, they're what all key players because first Thursday night, everybody put in a shift. Everybody to a man did their job. Absolutely. Like, I can't say any, I can't say anybody had a bad game. No, but I mean, considering we played on Thursday night, do you reckon that um, uh, Robbins will make a wholesale changes, or do you reckon he'll try and keep the core of the side the same? I do think he'll make. He's he's bound to make at least a couple of changes because mm. it's it's such such is the nature of football. But only three three days between games as well. Yeah, I, I think he'll make wholesale changes, um, but I reckon he'll make two or three. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's good. I mean, uh, guys, as we said, we're hoping Coventry City go and um, do a smash and grab. You know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind a one-nil win. 
Uh, I think just yeah, just the way our season's been, it wouldn't be surprising if we did pull it off. But you know what? As always, guys, it's been a pleasure to uh, uh, come live for you, produce content for you. Rich, I mean, any other thoughts you want to cover? Um, no, I think we've covered... I think we've said everything that needs to be said. <laughs> Uh, see it, guys. That's it, guys. So we will also we'll be watching the game live. Um, ho uh, and guys, anybody that's watching live, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Leave us uh, what you think the prediction is going to be. Do you think anything of what myself and Rich have said are we completely off the boil, or um, is there any anybody that has a different opinion? We'd love to hear it. Um, we are now going to tune off uh, and get ready for the game. As always, we're in the jersey. Play up Sky Blues. Yeah, I've got, got, home win, got my league winning, league one winning, one from last season on uh, today. Yes, yes, indeed, indeed. Yes, great shirt, great shirt. Love that <laughs> shirt. Uh, but guys, until next time, take care, have a good weekend, and we'll catch Play up, up with Sky you. Play up Sky Blues. Play up Sky Blues.